Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, where we play new games on classic consoles at 60 frames a second. So make sure you're watching at 60 frames a second. And we're going to be playing four games Yay! today. Hello. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Welcome back. It's a Saturday. Yes. Happy, um, sat happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. Happy Easter weekend. Happy Our... Bunny Day. Happy Chocolate Day. <laughs> Whatever you want to, however you celebrate it. Happy Resurrection of your Lord and Savior Day. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, but <laughs> any, I hope you're all having a good weekend. Whatever's going on. Happy, happy Indoor Day. Indoor Day. <laughs> indoor, hopefully Indoor Chocolate Day at least. So. Yeah. yeah. Do we have any chocolate? We a little bit, little unless bit you ate all that, all the chocolate that was there. We had wafers. Yeah, did you eat them? Not all. Okay, So good. there's still a little bit left. <laughs> there's still some chocolate. <laughs> matzah for everyone. <laughs> Yay! Is it is it uh, matzah ball soup? Because I can get down with that. Oh, that's yeah. yummy. Yeah, very mm. good. Yeah. Uh, uh, we're going to be playing four games today, and they happen to be all... Don't spell. Uh, 4K games. All of them. All small games. Uh, we're going to be playing Kaboom Deluxe uh, Update uh, by Daryl Spice Jr. Uh, Flappy Bird by uh jet set illy space battle uh that's from 2006 all the rest are brand new uh by dave newman and chuck heads by glenn main so thank you for joining us today our new schedule is wednesdays and sundays except today is gonna be saturday yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's crazy he had to do some some last minute last tweaking. minute adjustments yeah but we're gonna strive for wednesday night and sunday morning yes right now yeah so that we can cover everyone off yeah. and and make it so everybody can watch and it, it's not his fault it's mine because i have work related <laughs> things that popped up out of nowhere so I, I don't think that will be an issue in the future i hope but uh sometimes no, things happen no, so none of that yeah, yeah what exactly can you do? saturday sunday who, who knows? knows just just keep That's checking right. keep checking back that's right yeah um, just my foot okay <laughs> uh yeah. but today is saturday yeah. uh in morning so that thomas can join us uh, and oh. spice work yeah um Lovely. So i want to thank all the twitch subscribers who support the show cafe man 2d captain classic charles reese dan avc drexel gretams ground trooper johnny wc 23 carl g croco 2600 laudmont mad max 269 metal lunar 7 mk smith mr fix muddy funster nathan strum packer at vg rc 70 repentless vg Retro Seller Man, Sir Cat Legs, Socrates, so, so, Socrates, Socrates? How do you. What is it? Socrates? What? Socrates. See, I pronounced it three ways and didn't Socrates. even get it right. Uh, <laughs> 0603, it's a new name. Socrates, yeah. it threw Socrates. me off. Spartan 581, Spiceware, Esmeralda's 2008, The D Train 37, Welshman 89, Thunkus, Tiki Dan K, Trek MD, Venjack. And you can support the show and subscribe for free too if you link your amazon prime to your twitch prime and click subscribe also make sure you uh follow and subscribe and click like on twitch youtube facebook instagram and twitter they're all zero page homebrew if you want to look for them no spaces and we've got uh pixel here who is as being well. very very bad very bad yeah yes you are he's all about uh, getting into this stuff right now so. yeah so just so. lay on the couch and be a nice cat yeah there it's we go. not gonna happen yeah. So I want to thank, yeah, Bad Kitty. Yeah. <laughs> I want to thank all the people who are tuning in live on Twitch, which we do broadcast twice a week. Um, usually we do make twice a week. So it would just maybe on crazy different days all the time. So that's why you need to uh, follow us on Twitch. So you can make sure you get alerted on your phone and everything else. Uh, and the people here live are the D Train 37, Thrust 26, Prow 7, Spiceware, Carl G uh gretams dan avc uh pack rat vg who else uh the anjun that's a new name welcome uh and everybody else mm -hmm. who is lurking and yeah. not talking because i just read out the people who talk um so some uh mail news and feedback uh before the show we're playing i was playing some new not new music, but music mm. I don't normally play. Usually I play a radio station of Commodore 64 music mm. because there is one and there isn't a, a station of Atari 2600 mm. music. Um, so I usually put that on, but this week I compiled a bunch of YouTube music that are all Atari 2600 music. Oh, so cool. if you're okay. tuning in before the show, um, you heard a bunch of 2600 music. Um, so... I don't know if I'll continue that. I've only found 44 
144 s- songs, songs so far okay. on YouTube. I know so there's a created, lot more. So you've created you've created your own playlist. Ah, oh, that cool. is not very good at playing random because yeah. it played the same song twice in like. You're gonna be trouble, aren't you? You know, you, you he, are he, looking to jump up on it's the equipment. Like, it's like the little red light goes on, <laughs> which like, it doesn't. Ah! But he just knows, and he's like, "Time to act up. I'm gonna chew that cord." <laughs> Well, he just kind of jumps everywhere and stands on cords. and Yeah. He just likes to just... Even though he's very graceful, he looks like he's going to knock everything over all the time. So Yeah. Yeah, and he sometimes he's usually does. pretty good, though. But, uh, <laughs> he's blinking. Yeah. He's saying hi. Um, he kind of. <laughs> ran across some <laughs> interesting, you hi. Yeah. interesting information in the Atari Age forum about Dan Kitchen's upcoming game. Uh, this was posted on February 12th, so I must have missed it, because it was in the ColecoVision uh, forum, which I don't frequent too often, but once in a while. Um, apparently, Dan Kitchen's Gold Rush is going to get a port f- on ColecoVision as well. Is that the new system? Or, or what? Uh, there, There is a new console put okay. out yeah. that is a... Um, hardware emulation of ColecoVision that mm-hmm. we got. It's the Phoenix. ColecoVision Phoenix. Coleco v- Phoenix? I don't know what you want to call it. It's the Phoenix. It's not made by Coleco, so you can't really okay. call it a Coleco Phoenix. Okay. Uh, it's a Phoenix. But, but so, it's a new console, is it's not what new. you're saying. No, no. Oh, okay. It's, it's still the Coleco, just smaller and... No, but they're coming out with a new physical... In television, they're coming out with a new Oh, that's one. not... That's the one I was thinking Yeah, Miko. Of. Okay. But that's unrelated. Okay. Um, uh, Retro Elucid post on February 12th. If you're following the Atari scene, then you probably know that Dan Kitchen is working on a sequel to Keystone Capers, aka Keystone Cannibal, now dubbed as Gold Rush. Dan is currently finishing the game and should hit Kickstarter in only a few months. Dan was kind enough to give me his blessing to port Gold Rush to the ColecoVision. Mm. So as soon as he's done with the game, we'll start working on a ColecoVision port. Nope, 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 kitten, nope, nope. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to post updates about the ColecoVision port here, so stay tuned. So, Retro Lucid is actually Jean-Francois Dupuis, uh, a.k.a. Retro Lucid, and he is the founder of Collect- uh, Collector Vision, and that's the company that it put out, that puts out a lot of ColecoVision homebrew, as well as the Phoenix. Hmm. So, it's probably going to be end up on the Collector Vision uh, group of games. Okay. No, no, it's, he's okay. Just, he's- just drives me crazy <laughs> if you're watching the cat cam you can see him running around there. that cat is a stage <laughs> stage line yeah it's he's we're we're our own version of tiger kings that's uh, right <laughs> except with only two wild beasts yes <laughs> yes so squish that cat um, squish him so that's that's really exciting and i'll probably pick that up um and uh the reveal last week that champ games is going to be putting uh out a unreleased unannounced new game that he's never talked about before and we're going to debut it on may 13th next yes. month is very exciting yes. and i've been racking my brains trying to figure out what game is it what game could it be um so i've kind of narrowed down the scope of what it could be um it's probably going to be an arcade port mm-hmm. because that's what he usually does and because these games never made it to the 2600 that's usually the incentive to do it and i know it's it's a port so um because you know he's he's like oh can you guess what it is well if it's a brand new game i'm not going to guess what it is cuz see <laughs> Problem. That was hilarious. He actually looked up to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for it, people. Yeah, it's coming. Um, He's gone now. That's oh, it. that's enough. <laughs> Carl G's here for the cats. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> We're all here. Oh for my just goodness! The cats. It just—he just went right for the camera. <sighs> Pause on the TV. Yeah. So it's probably an arcade port. Mm. It's probably something from the late seventies to early eighties because that's the realm that you could possibly port to the 2600 um it's probably not been a game that's been released for the 2600 uh, or made into a homebrew before because why would you replicate somebody else's work usually mm-hmm. unless it's just terrible like yeah. it was a a version put on the 2600 where it was, it was just, just un- unplayable. the worst yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. um and probably not too common because a lot of the common ones have already been done or attempted, but probably not too obscure that 
nobody's even heard of it. Uh, but it could be. And it's usually ones that he has liked. Mm. Um, playing as, playing a, as a kid. As or, a kid yeah, or yeah. discovered as an adult. Yeah. Um, and Thrust says there's still some arcade games that fell, fit well to the Galagon engine. Mm-hmm. That's true. So it could be any number of vertical shooters. Mm. Um, or even horizontal scr- shooters because he's got, you know, Scramble and Super Cobra Arcade. Mm-hmm. Um, but we looked at Cosmic Avenger um, the other the last episode, so it's probably not that because he says he has never talked about it. He's never announced it, so it's like brand new. It's not Satan's Hollow. <laughs> I asked him already. <laughs> I know he's got the proof. Because because we've talked about Satan's Hollow. Well, he didn't he develop a proof of concept no. for that? Right? I supposed to did. I supposed to. Sorry, I supposed yeah, to. So. I knew someone had. So yeah. Uh, Thrust twenty six says Moon Cresta. Yeah. Pop, uh, something utterly impossible like Gauntlet. That would be a challenging one because mm-hmm. the screen can. F- just literally fill up with enemies in mm. Gauntlet if you just let the generators yeah, yeah. go forever. Yeah. Which would just turn into a mess. I mean, he could limit it. Yeah. Um, but that one just tends to just be a, just a ton of things on screen. Yeah. It's possible. Like, Dark Chambers is what Gauntlet came from, and Dark Chambers was on the 2600. Oh, okay. And people have already made attempts to convert Dark Chambers to Gauntlet, so gotcha. I doubt... He would do that again. Yeah. Like somebody's already done it. Yeah. Yeah. But who knows? <laughs> who knows? And <laughs> yeah. I'm just guessing. And if yeah. anybody else wants to make a guess. Yeah. Um, and I went through the list of arcade games released in that era. And there are literally hundreds of them. Just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. And I'm like, mm-hmm. I don't know any of these. I'd have to click through every one one by one and look at the graphics and go, oh, would it be one? But John's done a lot of different types of games. He's done a lot of shooters and platformers. But he's also done like Ladybug, which is like a maze game. Mm. So it really could be, uh, could be done using a twenty one twenty eight bitmap kernel. Yeah, that's true. Like anything could be done using the one twenty eight bitmap kernel, mm. um, where it's just a bunch, like anything can go on the screen. Uh, I would love Gauntlet. That's for sure. Oh, Johnny's here. Uh oh, we're guessing <laughs> while he's here. Gauntlet would be very cool. Um, it's one of my favorite games as well, and it would lend itself very well to the Atari Vox because it has a lot of speech. Like, like uh, Elf is about to die or mm. Wizard needs food badly. <laughs> that would be very, very fun. Yeah, it would be monochrome. Yeah. yeah. Um, so who knows? We'll see. We'll see. Um, but uh, we're going to be playing four games today. And by coincidence, like I said, they're all 4K. They're all small games. Small games. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, you know, small uh, good things come in small packages. <laughs> they, they can be, you refine the gameplay. Well, yeah, there's lots of fabulous small games out there. Oh, so yeah. So the first uh, one we're going to be playing is Daryl Spice Jr.'s game. Okay. Kaboom Deluxe. We have played it before, but yes. he's pretty much finished it. Um, it's not declared done, but I think he's just down Close. to the last little bits of it. Okay, cool, uh, he's cool. Been, he was working on a lot of graphic stuff recently on it Okay. to make it look like... I think he kind of tore things down and then built it back up because he... What he did is took Kaboom, which is a one-player game mm. on the 2600, where you catch the bombs at the bottom mm. with your buckets yeah. of water. <laughs> <laughs> so they diffuse. Yeah. And there's a mad bomber at the top going back and forth dropping yeah. the bombs. Um, what he has done is he uh, made it into a two-player game, which it was a two-player game on other consoles, but oh, not the 2600. Not the 2600. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and Spice Horse says it's done unless throttling routu- routines need tweaking. Hard to test that solo. Yeah. So that's kind of what we're testing okay. today. Because he did put a shout out uh, uh, to say, hey, I need some testing. Yeah. In terms of the movement of the Mad Bomber at the top. Okay. Um, okay. Because, you know, there needs to be some balancing between how fast that person can move at the top and, and the other player can move at the bottom. Mm. Um, so it is a paddle game. Oh, okay. Two-person yes, paddle yes, of game. course. So that is pretty exciting, actually. <laughs> because there's not too many two-person paddle games. And um, Spiceware is uh, pretty good at making paddle games. Yeah. Making Medieval Mayhem. Me- yeah, that's an which awesome is game. Like I love that game. One of the kings of four-player games yeah. for the 2600. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a great game. 
Let's switch over. Yay for paddle games. Yes. Yeah. Need more paddle games. And hopefully at some point in the not too distant future. Mm. Oh, I can't press. It's Does all it fine. Already? That's normal. Okay. Uh, we'll see if I can navigate the menus with the little buttons. Because yeah. sometimes it gives me trouble. Oh, actually you can do it without. Supposedly. Maybe yours. There. Oh, mine. Um... Yeah, hopefully at some point we'll be able to play a four-player game back back here. But uh, yes, one day ooh. unless the cats start getting good they, at playing games, they grow games. opposable thumbs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, how funny would that be? Well, so, anyway, it looks like Kaboom. Uh, let's get Kaboom up on the screen. There are probably a lot of genetic gen, genetic engineers bored in their homes. So who knows? <laughs> who um, knows? Forgot to record. Now it's recording. I'll have to take it from Twitch. Oh, so annoying. Start, forgot to record locally. Oh, yeah. oh. You started it now, though. Yeah, I Okay, you just missed the last, so the beginning. That's yeah. Fine. You'll Too get excited. it from there. Um, so this was first posted February 2nd, 2019. Uh, this build is from March 29th, 2020, so very new. Uh, it's a 4K game. The original Kaboom was 2K. But obviously adding in new things, you're going to have to um, add some uh, room for it. And he said the 2K was very full. So he had to expand that. Other games, Draconian, Frantic, Kaboom Deluxe, Me Medieval Mayhem, Space Rock, Stay Frosty, Stay Frosty 2, and Timmy. And you can download this in the Atari Age forums. And we last played this February 6th, 2019. So I th think he's left the original... Or is this all two-player? Can you move the top? No. no. Okay. So here you can demonstrate... Ah! Uh, not well. <laughs> uh, the single-player game. I am not good at this game. <laughs> uh, while I read out some stuff. No, it's a challenging this is, game. <laughs> this is this is not a game I... Uh... Game's 3 through 8. Yeah, I thought so. It's good to keep the original ones included. Um... So the idea to adapt the 2600 Kaboom for two players started in a thread. Um, let me open it up. It was a thread about, it was titled, Games Hack to Work with Paddles. Um, aside from the paddle, the two-player version of Kaboom is standard. And they were, I think they were discussing it... Uh, was this a different forum? Oh, I can't see. That's it. Uh, and uh, I wonder why the 2600 version doesn't have it, uh, Davy K said. Uh, maybe reading both paddles just takes too long and compromises the game speed. And then Spiceware replied, there's plenty of time in the kernel to read two paddles, about 30 free cycles per scan line. Uh, this was an early 2K game on the 2600. Looking at the source from Minidig, there's very little unused space, so lack of ROM, ROM would most likely be the reason. Um, and then... He says, having the source code would make it very straightforward to do. I'll take a look at it this weekend. This is in January 2019. Hopefully this will revitalize my interest in the 2600 as I've been having a hard time getting back to Spice C. And then he posts in February, kernel changes are finished. Initially had an issue with too many cycles in the bucket area. Um, and then he posted from the 5200 manual the uh, information about the two-player version of the game called Pitch and Catch. Player 1 controls the water buckets first, while Player 2 moves the Mad Bomber. After Player 1 misses a bomb, Player 2 gains control of the water buckets, and Player 1 moves the Mad Bomber. The player controlling the water buckets presses either lower red button on their controller to start the bombs falling, and is only player to score points. Um, and then it goes on to talk about... Uh, Oh, the bucket controller starts the bombs falling on the 2600 game by pressing the action button on the paddle. That should remain... Hmm. Probably remain games? with the bucket versus the bomber. What are you trying to do? What are the games? Uh, the different variations, you mean? Yeah, like one through eight. Uh, well, three through eight is two player. Okay. And uh, variation two is I'm not sure. What are you on now? 
Uh, this is just one. One? But... Okay. We will get to that. Okay. Um, I... Okay. Let's get back to my notes here. Um, so, uh, Spiceware posted on February 6th after we played the game. Based on the feedback from Zero Page Homebrew Stream, I'll be adding something to limit how many pixels a Mad Bobber can be moved on each frame. The pixel limit will increase after each round. Uh, we'll likely add additional ge game variations 4 plus with each start with a higher initial pixel limit. So game 5 would be more difficult than game 3. Sunset Skyline will be done first though, as I've already started on that, which he is now completed uh and then he posted on march 22nd finally felt inspired to work on this again and made some progress on the weekend player controlled mad bomber routines were so messed up that I'm, it made pitch and catch variations unplayable it's been so long since i've worked on the routines i didn't remember what i attempted to do so i tracked down the copy of the source from february 7th I used it to restore my original logic now it's back to being playable i can start over in the throttle routines i fixed the extra black bars that showed up around the logo uh, while working on that, I realized something's messed up in the track mode. Um, let's see, current to-do list, throttle player controlled Mad Bomber, movement based on game number, uh, game number and level number, which he's done. Update the difficulty switch routines to work correctly in the new ga game variations. Uh, figure out how I broke a track mode and fix it. During the track mode, the background in the Activision logo shows some extra on the left and right versus Kaboom. And you need to figure out how to hide that. Then he posts on March 29th. And this is the version that we're playing. Uh, game variations 3 through, H, uh, 3 through 8 are pitch and catch. Throttle routines are in place. Finish the attract mode. Games 3 okay. plus uses ball behind the score to show paddle position for player controlling the mad bomber. And we'll take a look at that in a second. Throttle routines use the game number plus level number, so the max distance the Mad Bomber can move per frame is Game 3 moves 2 through 9. Game 4 moves 3 through 10. That's as the levels go up. Game 5 moves 4 through 11, etc. Up to Game 8 moves 7 through 14 uh, pixels per frame. I can adjust the throttle amounts, such as using the game number, number plus level number divided by 2. Just need feedback for how this works for y'all. Uh, to do, <laughs> Cadelli's from Texas. He's from Texas, yes. Uh, to do, update difficulty switch routines to work correctly for games three plus. So sorry, the throttle amounts. What does that mean? That means how fast the bomber at the top can move across the screen. That's for two player though. Um, so that it's kind of fair how, if it's balanced or not. Okay. Well, we'll take a look at that. But what was what was level two? Because I don't know. Yeah. I'd have to look in the. It was weird. <laughs> Oh. So oh, I now see. this is two player. Oh, so it, it's it you move, but he's he has he catches a, up. He he slowed slightly because of his throttling. Right? <clears throat> yeah, fair enough. So I can know where I want him to go. Yeah, which is a good thing to put on there because yeah. it's like well, when he by the time he catches up, you may be past that point. Yeah. Um. So I am playing the bomber. This is three. Uh, this is three. This is the most basic level. Okay. Uh, one is one player, two is original two player, which is back and forth, alternating, I'm guessing. Or two paddles, back and forth. Uh, okay, so you're at the bottom catching. So this is the lowest amount. This is the slowest mm -hmm. for me at the top. Mm. So you press the button to go whenever you're ready. So it's sped up a little bit now for yeah. me, like in terms of movement. Now he's almost like the same speed as the block at the top. Oh, I see. So you, I get you. So now, see, I can move and he's very fast now. So this is like the fourth level of movement. <laughs> <laughs> That's always where I, I fail. He gets a little too... Oh, so now I'm at the bottom. And I'm at the top. Yeah. Ah. And the score color has changed. Let me just... Yeah, I'm... Lube this one up. There we go. 
Now it's smooth. Okay. Now you can move a little bit faster. Yeah. No, it makes sense. Well, this is fun. It's less <laughs> stressful than being on the other end. And it, it allows you to participate a little bit, right? And now I'm in a word. Yeah. Uh, that is rough. Now I'm back at the bottom. Thunkist cool. is drinking beer. <laughs> It looks like a hearthstone mug. <laughs> ah. Okay. So now it's fast, and you have two. Ah oh, there's cats scratching at the door. Of course. <laughs> you can be nice or extremely mean. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Or try and trick you. One Terrible. bucket is very difficult. Ugh. So hard. This game, I, I've, it's so hard. I, I don't know if I'll ever get the patch for this game. It's 3,000 to get the patch. Yeah, it's, it's, um, yeah. Does it start over? No. I think you just have to hit reset. Yeah. Um, it, it's a whole so. skill set working with paddles, I find. <laughs> Let's go up to level eight. Is that starting really fast? And this is starts really f quite fast. So this would be the equivalent of le of of uh, level th three plus uh, plus f five. <laughs> yeah, but now it's now it's fast. Now this is. Because there's two speeds. There's the speed of the guy moving at the top, how fast he can move back and forth, plus, and the and the speed of the bombs dropping. I don't know if I ever really paid attention and noticed the water splash in the in the water bucket oh. before. It goes splash, splash, splash. Is that and it, is that I, new? I don't think so. Oh, okay. It's probably just too hectic. Oh yeah, you can see it. Wait. Oh, oh who's? Oh, I'm at the bottom. Oh, I got confused too. <laughs> no, you're at the top. Now I'm at the top. It switches. Oh, there we go. I know. I'm gonna go completely back and forth. It's not quite fast enough to drop <laughs> a bomb on either side. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. Let's see if I can. He's ah. almost fast enough to go, go boom, 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 boom. all the way across back and forth. Splash has always, always been, there. been there. Yeah, the missing pixel in the buckets. Uh, mm. okay. okay, so I'm at the bottom now. I'm at the top. And the sword. It's not going to make it easy on me. <laughs> well, it is what it is. <laughs> yeah. So this is the most advanced level. Where he starts yeah, at a higher... A he starts at a higher... Oops. Is that me? I always forget oh, it's I me. forget too. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go back to the original one. Okay. Where we can uh, play. Yeah. Well, it doesn't change the speed of the dropping bombs at all. As far as I can tell, no. it's just the speed of the guy the, the at the top. The dude at the top, yeah. Um, the missing picks on the buckets. Yeah, I just, I, I, um, I think you're playing, you're not noticing all the little things. Like the little details, like the, um, the fire, uh, on the bombs and the splash yeah. and the buckets are just little details in this game that are... And you can hear really the of the bombs. And, and the scowl of the terrorist <laughs> at the top. Like. Yeah. Okay. 
Um, so in terms of the speed movement, I mean, it gets up to a point where it's fast enough very, very quickly, right? Like, you can pretty much go the whole screen wherever you want as the bomber at the top. <laughs> um, so if anything, I would say slow him down on variation three so that there's a really big handicap. So in, ta in case you're like playing against, like if a kid wanted to play this yeah. so that you could, um, ready? Mm -hmm. Oh, is it me? Wait, where am I? I'm you're at, at the, the top. bottom? You're at the top. No, I'm not. Am I? Yeah, I am. <laughs> it's really confusing me. It is. You have to really pay attention. Okay, there's a cat that wants it. Yeah, it's Atari. Hold on. Oh, oh, sorry. It's okay. Oh, okay. Useless. Yeah, I think... Yeah. Personally, I think that it could start a lot slower. Um, so that if somebody at the bottom uh, was somebody starting out with the game um it could be a lot easier for them um in case somebody at the top was playing and they were more advanced at playing um i th think where it ends up on game eight is definitely fast enough to begin with like you can pretty much almost do anything um on game eight so i think that ending part is good um okay yeah, at least by half speed would be a really good update. Yeah, because I can almost go the whole screen already. <laughs> Such a chaotic game. It's, it's, <laughs> it's madness. Madness. Atari is very excited we're playing Kaboom. <laughs> He's hurrying away. It's like, I'm inside. <laughs> I'm inside. Yes. <laughs> so hard. So very hard. Oh, one is terrible. So hard. Okay, play one more game of All it. All right. Do you, do, does uh, does he want us to try some of the other levels? Uh, well, we, we went... did we did three and eight. Should we do like five or six somewhere the, in between? They're all kind of the same. It's just where you're starting off at. Because level uh, game four is just game two, but, but with uh, one yeah one level more. Yeah. Yeah. So it depends on the skill, the relative skill levels of of the both of the people. Yeah. Okay. You're up first. Yeah, because it is slow here, but I think it could be slower. Because it gets fast very quickly. Like right now, he's he's quite quick. And he would is present, quick, but the, the present bombs are dropping. Slowish. Slowish, yeah. yeah. And, and if anything, I would change the ramp up of the So it gets a lot harder. Oh, well, no. So it starts off even easier than the original game. And then goes... Because it otherwise it's a really fast game over a game. Yeah. If you're not good at the game. And it's a hard, hard game. Some people are, though. I mean, oh some my people God, can yeah. play for hours. So. Forever. Forever. Because it only gets so fast. And uh, way faster than I can manage. But... This is where it gets. It rains down fire. It's always the challenging level. Damn it! Ah. <sighs> uh. <laughs> so 
Sometimes it's just you think you've gotten gotten it. You've gone further enough over. There's a real lag. This thing is. <laughs> well, you're it the, did switch. The bomber's a lag. Yeah. Yeah, because he he is he does literally have a lag. Damn it! Oh, it's so hard. I mean, the what you're supposed to do in the game is play till just before you get a thousand points, then purposefully drop the bomb on the ground and miss it. And then so it slows again. Yeah. And then it slows again, and you get uh, an extra life uh, life bucket back at the thousand points. I'm at 696, but I've only got one bucket and I'm die. Hey, Ramirez. Hey, S. Ramirez. Plan on playing this tonight with my wife. It's game night. Game nice. night. Nice. There we go. 751. Terrible. I think my highest score in Kaboom when we were playing it for the patch was like 17 or 15,000, 1500. And the patch is 3,000 you have to get. Mm. It's brutal. Mm. Brutally hard. Mm -hmm. So this is the normal game. This, yeah, the single player. Ah, oh, pointless. Okay, terrible. Do one more. Do one more. Yep. Keep going. Might as well. Yeah. Luckily, there's a good paddle set I have. They're not too jumpy. Once no, you work them in good. a bit. You have to kind of loosen them up a little and yeah. get the lead out of <laughs> Get the lead out of it. <laughs> Tari's very excited. Oh my god! Uh, <laughs> it's so hot. Can you open the door all the way? Sure. It gets get so yeah. hot in here. With the lights. Yeah, the lights do warm it up. It is getting nice and warm outside too, so. Yes. Um, it just means if we have the door wide open that the black and white cat can come back and wreak havoc, but havoc. But I think he's probably asleep upstairs now. He's done his bad oh, work for the yeah. day. Oh, It's like, my yeah. work here is done. Yeah. <laughs> and now Atari's here. Yes. The good cat. The good cat. <laughs> yes, show me your belly. S. Ramirez says, uh, I can get over 2K, but I've never achieved the patch. It's, really? It's, oh, God. S. Ramirez tough. can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> There's no hope for the rest of us. Not really. <laughs> oh, 604. It is tough. It is so tough. Oh. Uh. There must be a Hall of Fame for the most challenging Atari games. Like like hardest to to score, and this has got to be right up there because it is. it is a challenge, such a challenging game. This one is brutal, 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 brutal. What other games would you say are brutal, brutally hard? Um, I thought Stampede was until I figured out how to play it. Yeah, I mean that's um, true for a lot of games. I guess some games are hard when you when you're starting off. Yeah, if and then when about, you when you I, figure out the tricks, they get easier. But um, yeah. 10,000. No, it's not 10,000. Oh, that might go. That would be terrible. Yeah. Um, this game is this game is tough. Oh, and speaking of patches, I was going to put this in my uh, news uh, update thing, is that I have now added to the Zero Page Homebrew thread on Atari Age all the homebrew patches mm. that can be achieved. Um, and I was wondering if anybody else out there knew of any more. I'm going to give you a list right now. Um, Astronomer has the Stargazer patch where you need 20 points. I haven't got that yet. I got 16. Uh, Daredevil is going to have a patch, so we don't know what that is yet. Uh, Gold Rush is going to have a patch called the Golden Spike Club patch. Don't know what score. Game's not out yet. Uh, LEM had a patch included with the game. It doesn't really count, but there was a patch. You don't have to achieve it. You just get it. You just get it. I like uh, those. <laughs> Space, Space Cactus Canyon um, uh, had 
a patch of 80,000 points called the Space Cactus Captain's Patch. I did achieve that on October 26, 2018. Hmm. Uh, Spaceman Splorf has the Golden Spanner 4th Class Engineer Group Patch. 4,000 points. You I achieved, achieved that. that. Yeah, yeah. On April 8th, 2020. Yep. Recent uh, one. There's a, the Starfire Elite Squadron Patch, which I just found out about the other day, um, which is... 3,500 points. And there's the Tire Tracks Track Masters patch. So I Gold do... Gold Cup in Game 1 through 4 achieved on March 20th, 2020. I do want to revisit Spaceman, Splorf, and Tire Tracks because I feel like both of those are within range for me. Yes, for, for achieving. sure. Um, I'm... I... Uh... Anyway, um... Yeah, yeah I feel like I'm, I'm I'm within range for both those, so they just need a little bit more practice. Yeah, and, what uh, did you get on Spaceman Splorf? Did you get over? Uh, I got like over, 2, I think twenty seven or twenty eight. Yeah. And but it, it it's the kind of game that I think if you have a nice a good run and yes. you get in, get in the mode, it four thousand seems very achievable. Well, I'm all for um, doing that because I want to get the eight thousand. Well, level. yeah. And, I may and, and I may do a little bit of practice on my own, and then we can we can because yes. I don't want to spend two hours of people's time. <laughs> yes. Revisiting a game we've already spent, uh, you know, three hours of people's time on. So. Um, Ness Ramirez posted yeah. a new score of like twenty thousand. Oh really? A spaceman's floor? Yes. Good of for course. you. <laughs> and Carl G says I'm still contemplating make, making an I saved Earth patch for space game. Yes, ah, please. That'd be awesome. Uh, cool. Yeah. Um, I think um, having these patches. Um, really makes people excited about the game, yeah, gets them playing it a lot, and talking about it yeah. a lot. Yeah. So I think it's a really fun thing to do. And and they're really not that expensive to get made, but they're quite cheap if you get them in like yeah. a batch of 50 or something. I've gotten them made before. Yeah. And there's tons of places online that you could do it. You just send them your graphic, and they well, just change it into a patch. Even little virtual patches. I mean, wow. you know, it's it's to me, it's uh, yeah, virtual patches. I know, <laughs> but I, I I guess I, I I know you like things. Yeah. As as <laughs> you know, as everything here. But I mean, even a little virtual patch, a little virtual goal is 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 um, pushes yeah. pushes you to, to towards true. doing it. So I I you know, it's fun. It's Packer, fun to have that. Packard says the patches do really do get interest going. Yeah. 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 And I think too, it's not it's not competitive. It's competitive with yourself. So it's it's something yes. for for personal achievement because, you know, depending it's on the game. somebody better out there. Well, yeah, and and some people are really pushed by competition. Other people just want to kind of reach that goal. So yeah, you know. And uh, like Thrust that. says Starfire was the first uh, with a patch, first homebrew with a patch. Ah, uh, cool. And if he remembers correctly, Manuel's uh, wife made them. Mm. Very very cool. And I've also started organize the Activision patches as well that I haven't done, and I'm going to add back in the ones I have done, mm. so that I can keep track of them easier, yep. and also have what score you need to get. Yeah. So it's a nice one-stop place for, I mean, all the things I've done anyway. Yeah. There's already one on Atari Age for this is where I got most of the information oh, from. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the Activision patches. Yeah. But uh, there isn't a collection of where uh, what homebrew patches you can get gotcha. yet. So I've started that. Um, Al was uh, said he might make a page with that because he's got the Activision one as well, so mm. he can just steal it from me there and make make his own. And because I don't have any of the graphics up there, and on his he has the graphics of all the patches, mm. which is cool. Um, so the next game we're going to play is as soon as I get my notes, Flappy Bird by Jet Set Illy, and he he just literally named it Flappy Bird. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Because there's been like <laughs> Flappo and Flappy and a bunch of other Flappy names. Okay. But this one is like Flappy Bird. Flappy Bird. <laughs> and it's it, it's a brand new game. Nice. Um, so let's take a look at Flappy Bird. Plug the joystick back in. That was fun though. I like that. It I is. like I like nice variation. playing the, I don't know what you call them, the terrorist at the top or <laughs> uh, the, the, bomber. The, the bomber. The bomber. The mad the bomber. Down. Yep. Atari Hot Slut. Ready. Love the new sound. I know. I love the plus too. Oh. Ready. Okay. Um, so this was first posted March 25th. This build is from the same day. It's a 4K game 
This is the first game that Jet Set Illy has made for the 2600. Nice. It's available in the Atari Age forums. He posted, before working on the Gopher, on Gopher 2600, oh, I should have done some research into that. Um, it's a, um, uh, you can load it up. Um, Gopher 2600 is a development, uh, a game development um, environment. Um, uh, he said, I created a version of Flappy Bird as a way of learning about the 2600. Mm -hmm. I've uploaded the source code to, oh no, Go for 2600, I believe is an emulator actually. And it's uh, made for developers because it shows what's going on on the screen is in a very different way that Stella does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Spicer says, thanks, just finish uh, tweeting the throttle speeds. Nice. Uh, Sir S. Ramirez, my new high score in Spaceman Sport is 19. Wow, still very close to so 20. Close yeah. to 20. Yeah. <laughs> close enough. Oh my God, it's crazy. Um, I've uploaded the source to GitHub. Nothing special, but I think it's fun. You can go for it. There's no real. Uh, okay, I know. Oh, oh, it's very. Uh... Every Flappy Bird has its own like little weirdnesses to it. Oh. Oh, oh, yeah, this is going to take some getting used to. Uh, he says, uh, Atari 2600 Flappy Bird clone. This is a very rudimentary implementation of Flappy Bird for the 2600. It represents the first work I did with the console and shows inexperience with the hardware. But it's fun and plays quite well. It doesn't play bad at all. Uh, reflection. I was trying to get more work out of the TIA by losing, using flickering effects, but it's not successful in all places. The background trees in, a, uh, in particular aren't very appealing. Mainly, I think, because they are implemented with playfield graphics. I like the tree foliage, however, and the swamp water at the bottom of the screen. The splash and the sinking bird death animation is particularly effective, I think. Splash, and he sinks. Yeah, oh, that's cool. So he's got uh, playfield trees scrolling by in the background, uh, and they are um, scrolling at different speeds, which is actually really cool. Um, so there's some... Uh, parallax scrolling going on with the dark <laughs> dark trees up front closer and the lighter trees in the background which is really cool and the foliage is kind of kind of just flickery oh, oh it's kind of alternating and moving up it looks like it's kind of like trees in the wind almost mm -hmm. thrust 26 says i never understood this game you never understood the appeal of the game you mean <laughs> i mean Understanding the game is very simple. Fly through the holes. Yeah. But the appeal, yeah. I mean, it's... It's very simple. In many ways, this is Space Man Explorer, but... It is. Uh, you're just... You're avoiding. You're avoiding the walls. Yep. And yep. I'm doing a very poor job of it. <laughs> Your it, high score is four? Yeah. <laughs> something like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but at least it's one of these games that just... She's be... getting mad. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I've, I've played this before but it is 72 it, says yeah <laughs> welcome naya 72 a oh jesus <laughs> um i mean this originated on phones as a yeah. single button press that's and, all it is and that's why it was i think very fairly successful because it didn't need a lot of interface it was <gasps> somebody could understand it immediately you d didn't need any buttons it's except for one extremely simple um so it got really really popular and a million clones came out yeah. Hello to Kansas. Hello from Vancouver, BC. <laughs> um, oh, NY72A. Sounds like you're in New York, yeah. but it's from Kansas. Maybe there's a city called NY. <laughs> um, six. Your high score. Six is my high score. Uh... Yeah, I had I had a version of this on I had a Pebble watch back in the day and oh, there was yes. a flappy bird on Pebble because you just push the, the side button, so uh he's uh the bird is more like a pterodactyl. <sighs> he is like a pterodactyl. A I uh spiky head thing. Not and a big not a bad wings. little animation. He's got some Very like good animation. shading on him. Oh goodness. Um I was also overly ambitious with the construction of the code, the head files in the project are an attempt to abstract away non-game code but it's probably more confusing than anything else i will probably construct the code differently if i was to write it again and then in the thread cartoon dan posted on march 25th nice flapping animation i got 24 and then he posted Good the next him. day <laughs> and he posted the next day i'm up to 40 wow so cartoon dan is very good at flappy bird it's it's oh. it's all a matter of getting used to the movement and 
And I love that when he gets hit, he kind of goes, yeah. oh, and he goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> down to the down yeah. to the swamp, apparently. Yeah, it's quite sensitive. But I mean, uh, again, it's it's you get used to it. Ah, yeah. The the thing with these flappy birds is they have huge gravity. Oh, and the massive flap, gravity. And yeah. also the flap is about half to three quarters of the width of the hole of the hole so you have to kind of start below yeah you can't flap in the hole so no. if you don't time it right you're kind of screwed so yeah oh already uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. seven oh, there's font for the seven yeah but it does remind me of spaceman Swarf. it's very oh, similar yeah. but more gravity oh my god more gravity on the bird yeah same principle as joust. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, it's true. Uh, yes. The, the it, kind of the real the up and down flapping. Yeah. Spaceman Splorf doesn't quite have the height when you press the button, so it's not as crazy. No, he's floaty too. Yeah. This guy just goes pff, straight he down. Sinks. Eight. He sinks. I think this is a pretty pretty good I version think, of it. Yeah, and he's even got kind of a random tree branch on the tree trunks here and there. <laughs> uh, yeah, a little jutting out. Yeah. I think it looks pretty good. I mean, the, the, the leaves at the top I find a little hard crazy. to look at. <laughs> like, uh, I do have some issues with flashy things, so... Uh. Um, But it's not too, too bad. Oh, my God. At least it's all in tones of green. Yeah. And the trees stick through the branches. You can mm -hmm. see them. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they're a little transparent, which is nice. Mm. Oh, a little too flashy. There's a lot of flashing going on. Yeah, it's hard to look at. Oh, come on! <laughs> eight! You got to eight! I don't think this one speeds up this game. No, it doesn't appear to. Or get harder in any way. Or maybe it does. I mean, maybe if you we hit We haven't made it there. Yeah. But, uh, we haven't made it very far yet, so... No. Oh, oh it is, it is. It is challenging, this one, but... Uh, 40, eh? Hmm. <laughs> I can see that. I can really too. Practiced. You just have to. You just have to hack away at it for a while. Ah, the timing. You have to jump. You have to press it before you get yeah. to the hole. But you also have to position yourself. Mm -hmm. I get at least ten. Ah, <laughs> it's so hard. <laughs> Gretem says, happy little trees, happy little bird, not quite so happy little players. I'm not sure the bird is so happy when they go diving into the swamp. But, Smack uh, their forehead on yeah. the tree. Or clip their wing. Oof. Apparently, going low is better than going high. Mm. Uh, Damn it, 20! 20? Oh my goodness, that was good. Yep. And it doesn't seem to get any faster. No. So it's just endurance. Yeah. Oh, well, you do get clipped on the bottom. It's it's a little forgiving, but not much. close to 20 so intense yeah 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 oh uh, mistimed it yeah it's a very easy to miss time um yeah thrust 26 does the game get harder eventually we're trying to figure that out but james hit 20 and it doesn't seem to speed up so i think it's pretty simple so a lot of flappy uh, birds just get faster like the... some do but some just stay the same the little game that i had on my 
my my watch. I yeah. don't think it got faster. It just kept going. So I think it probably depends on the version. Just about endurance. Yeah. yeah, the trees don't seem to get closer together. They don't seem to come faster. And it wasn't official. I do not believe it was called Flappy Bird. Oh, but... no. Well, none of them are official, except for the original one, I believe. I don't know if he, the person made... Oh, it's hard to look at, actually. I think the Flappy Bird guy did, like... Is that the one that you took it off the market? Because it was too much fame for him? Too much attention? Really? Yeah. Too much money? He too was much like, money? Yeah. He was, like, just overwhelmed with everything. Yeah. And he took it off the market. So I, I think there was only one version, and everybody just made copies. Made clones of it, and yeah. It's for the iPhone? Yeah. Isn't that funny? Okay. I think I'm getting worse now. Want one more? Yeah, he was ashamed from all the profit. Oh, that was it. Yeah, some. Yeah, he had some issues with everything going. Oh. Yeah, the trees so don't again. really make logical sense. There's like, I guess if you, you could have a hole in the middle and they could be really thick trees and a hole oh through goodness. the center of the tree, and we're just not seeing the edges, like somebody drilled holes through the trees, but. I mean, it's better if the bird flies around the trees. <laughs> but apparently this like this bird likes challenges. Yeah, no kidding. Doing worse than I am then. Nathan's drum confirmed, yes, that's him. That's, oh, that's goodness. Flappy Bird is the guy who, who withdrew from the market. So I was thinking, oh, maybe it's a different game, but no, it was uh, it's Flappy Bird, not uh, what's that other one where you throw birds at pigs? Oh, um, that one just marketed the hell out of itself, made movies and TV shows and cartoons. And why, and, why am I drawing a blank on that yeah. one? That's a whole franchise, yeah. And um, plushies and angry birds, angry birds, not Flappy Birds, yeah. but it did have bird. They yeah. seem to have no issue oh. with the profit they were making. <laughs> no, they're very happy with that. Most video games don't make sense, especially <laughs> early video games. Even even modern games, there's a lot of craziness going on, but early video games were, like, just insane. Well, actually, really early video games made a lot of sense. They're mostly, they were they very were, simple. They were shooting space aliens or... Mostly shooting space aliens, actually. <laughs> Um, but then they got really bizarre, and w and they didn't make a lot of sense. But now they're back to more know. making sense well, because there's storylines and actual people in them. I think there was so much development at one time that people were just looking for whatever weird angle they could. Yeah. Yeah. And then latching on to things that seemed to do well, and then they made their own version of it. And they were they're coming up with some pretty crazy concepts. Yeah. I'm okay with that. It's, oh, it, yeah. it's the gameplay at the end of the day that. Yeah, if if you think think of a good kind of gameplay uh, option, then then you have to build the world around it. It's more about the gameplay. Are you done? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, you still. Yeah. Is that yellow thing at the non trees just a glitch? I I think it no. is a glitch because it's so in, so infrequent. No, they're just branches. You think they're supposed yeah, to be there? They're though? supposed to be there. They're just random. Yeah, there's just not enough of them. You'd think he'd like stagger them on both sides of well, the tree all the way down. Maybe it depends on what element of the programming it is. Yeah. I think they're just branches. This is so infrequent. It looks like it's missile uh, zero, the same color as the as the bird. And I'm guessing Nine. missile one or or even player one is the trees. Oh, actually, there's two trees on this screen at the same time. So one is the player and one is the missile. Um, and then the bird is player zero and the branch, which is why it only appears once, um, is missile zero. One more. Play Mr. TNT and MAME sometime. Mr. TNT? I haven't heard of that one. 
I take it that's after, what is it, Mr. TNT. <laughs> Fun game makes zero sense. Yeah. Okay, I'll yeah. have to check that out. I'll type it's it like, into a browser right now so I don't forget. It's like a lot of um, books and fantasy series and stories. I mean, when you think about the concepts in them, they don't make sense either. But if you've got good characters, you have a good story. I think the same is true with games. You can have a totally bizarre concept, but if the gameplay is good, then it doesn't really matter. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It doesn't have to be rational. <laughs> Were you guys not seeing that at all? What? Or did I switch it over? No, I think I just switched it over. I was like losing track. What happened? I think I switched over and then I just promptly forgot that I switched it over. Um, actually, mm -hmm. I want to take a look at Mr. TNT. <laughs> Maybe this is the game that uh, John is going to uh, <laughs> adapt. Hey. Eh? Let's see. Where's the actual gameplay? You're just picking stuff up. So you're a little dude. Oh, but you're like on a thread, so you're destroying your path. Oh. Interesting. So can, wow. No, never mind. This is not gonna be made for the 2600. <laughs> this is so detailed. The graphics. Neat. Oh. oh, cool. Oh, and they eat the thread too. Yeah. Trees are missile zero and missile one. Oh, really? The trees are zero and one. Yeah, so you're eating your thread, they're eating your thread. So if you take too long, or if you. You might run out of uh, a path. Yeah. Oof. Oof. Or they might Neat. eat all the paths up to where you need to. Oh, oh. Some trouble soon. oh Glenn! Uh, Craziness like it. on the screen. I like it. Neat. The concept's really cool. Yeah, it is really neat. It obviously makes zero sense. And why is it called Mr. TNT? Is he exploding? Is oh no, it's like it's like a fuse. Oh, it's like a fuse. Oh. Interesting. It's like running off like a fuse. I don't think it's emulated perfectly. Because <laughs> there's a glitch when you die. Maybe it's not, that could be on purpose. Those are little spinny fans. Uh, I'm sure there's there's a backstory, and the backstory might not make sense either. Yeah. But uh, neat. Definitely a cool looking game. Yeah. Um, never will be ported to the 2600. A little too much, eh? There's too many, like, Elements? unless you make it. Unless you make it really scaled down, I suppose. But Really scaled down. Yeah. The Atari is not good at thin vertical lines. Mm. It's very hard to do. Mm. It uses up. Neat. Yeah. What's the, it's an arcade game? Yeah. Mm. Arcade game. Um. So, we're going to move on to game number three, which is Space Battle, which was actually released on cartridge. Um, is by Dave Newman, first posted December 17th, 2005. Let's load it up. Here you go. Ready? Mm-hmm. Ready. Uh, and this build is from December 22nd, 2006. Uh, it was released on cartridge in 2006. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Oh, Johnny says, darn, you guessed the secret game. Damn it. We figured it out. Yeah. Which one? Space Battle, right? Uh, yeah. This is a 4K game. Um, his other games are Planet Builder, which is a work in progress, and Space Battle. Um... Cool little title screen, very flashy. Mm -hmm. My name is Dave, and after reading the tutorials here and looking at code samples, I've coded my first game. It's a simple rail shooter with 18 enemies. I have three game options, normal play, steerable missiles, and no shields. Shields are available in options one and two by pushing up on the joystick. Shields can take a limited uh, number of hits before heating up and exploding your ship. Uh, there's a limited fuel supply for each level, but it can be partially replenished by catching the white bombs from the enemies. Red enemy bombs cause your ship to explode unless your shields are up. Each completed level increases your available ships by one to a maximum of six. Enemy speed increases with each level, but resets to default speed after every six levels. When you fire and hit an enemy, convoy explodes. The survivors spin and cannot be damaged again until you hit a different enemy. 
Uh, that was the original post. It could have changed. In old school, homebrews don't start with the button. Sometimes they do. No, but I was. he said with the joystick you can do the game options, but I can't see that. Maybe it's oh. in the... Um, Maybe got rid of that. Just wanted to see. Oh, oh it's there. Okay. Yeah. What did he say? One through three, it's shields? E one and two are shields. It, 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 this may have changed. Okay. Oh, you can't start with the button. Good. What is going on? <laughs> Who am I and what am I doing? You're the guy. I played this just barely. You're the ship. You have to land on the pad at the bottom. On the pad? Yeah, the moving pad. And you're dying. Oh, that's the... What's the pad? The moving pad. The moving underneath, underneath the... The guy, yeah. Oh, okay. That's all I know for now. Uh, the Atari Age listing says, The Intergalactic Treaty of 2345 has been broken by a race known as the Gorn. You are on patrol in the Gamma Sector of the... Dynabian cluster when you receive a distress call from Earth Outpost number four. Oh, you made it. Uh, your mission is to defend the remote Earth Outpost. In space battle, you must defend a remote Earth Outpost from attacking invaders, but it's not as easy as it sounds. Before... Let's see. Before you can even face the enemy onslaught, you must first land your ship on the outpost defense platform while evading an enemy sentry. Once on the platform, you'll face the first wave of enemy fighters. Can you destroy them before depleting your fuel supply? To keep your fuel from running low, be sure to pick up the fuel pods released by exploding enemy vessels. What? Are you shooting them? Trying to. Where's the fuel pod? Um, Is it what's coming down? Because that looks... By exploding enemy vessels. You have to shoot one and... Now you can shoot the first one again. Confused. Is that well, it? We'll get the instructions in a second. The first screen is a bit like Lunar Lander. Uh, you have limited fuel. Oh, it Dave. is. It is what they they no. <laughs> it's, it's when a it's white one. It's, it's got to be the white one then. Uh, that makes more sense. Nathan Strom says Dave Dries. Dave Trees. I think it's Dries. There we go. Uh, collaborated on the label. Dave created uh, the amazing planetscape. I did the <sighs> ships and logo. Very, very cool. With blocky PF, it might be doable. Ooh, yeah. That last game. Yeah, we have to be pretty blocky. Nope, nope not good enough. Just <laughs> have to be centered. So let's read the instructions. So I we did know it once. What the hell's going on? Come on. Come on. Uh. Okay, you are on patrol. Yeah, we got yeah, that go. one. The enemy will drop plasma bombs, which you must dodge. Activating your shields by pressing up on the joystick will deflect the plasma oh. bombs. But your shields will overheat and cause a massive core breach after several hits. If you disengage your shields, they will cool off very quickly gotcha. and be ready to sustain another attack. Your fuel is about to be... Oh. oh, red's bad, I guess. How do you know which one's which? If you, uh, the enemy convoy, supply convoys will always come in groups of three. When you destroy one of the group, the remaining ships in the group raise their shields, signified by an S. So those are shielded. One shot at a time. And they get recalled. Oh, goodness. Uh, and that group cannot be damaged again until another group draws your fire. You have a limited supply of fuel. If you exhaust it, you will lose core containment and your ship will explode. It is possible to replenish your fuel from the fuel pods released by the enemy convoy as it breaks up. The enemy will try to disguise these fuel pods as bombs until the very last moment when they turn color from a bomb bomb red to fuel pod green. Okay. Ah, so it's like very last second though. Uh, that one was fuel. Yeah, but you have to, you're like That one was fuel. <laughs> that one was fuel. Uh, it's like the last second yeah. though. So you have to kind of be beside it and yeah. then go for it. Yeah. Or be on top of it and run away when or, it's red. Or, or raise your shield. Uh, I think that's that's kind of the key is raising the shield. Uh, the more fuel you use to land, the less fuel you have to fight. Oh, I see. And uh, 
Nathan's drum says, watch for the word refuel at the top. There you go. Yeah, yeah, you can see it cut, pop up right away. It wasn't... Ugh. That's funny. What's that noise? My foot. Oh, there was a cat scratching something. Oh, oh I tried to use my shield, but... <laughs> refuel, it's, refuel. It's really, um... Very last second. It is. Ah, oh, see, I I put my shield up, but uh, I guess the shield is the blue. It's red. Oh no, at the bottom of the screen. Yeah. My turn. Okay. Ah. Oh. I, yeah. Can you launch again? I guess. After. Launch again. Like if you hit the bottom and you're like dying. Well, you you can slow down your descent. Trying to figure out the whole using the shield and catching the there. It's just lucky. Like I... Well, yeah, that's kind of the thing. Ah. There, see. <laughs> so, like, I suppose if you can get the shield really quickly, but um, but then if you use the shield on the fuel, would you die? It's too scary. It's weird. Yeah. Ah. If if you have your shield up, will, do you get the fuel? Oh, oh it just it bounces. It, oh, oh, it gives you gives you a moment to uh, maybe release that's, your shield. That's the way you want to do it, maybe. Yeah, to release your shield or get out of the way, I guess. What's red? Why why am I flashing red? Oh, because your shield's over. up. I think, or when you get close to um, losing all your fuel, I think you go red too. Get, it gives you a little bit of leeway. On yeah. that landing pad. Not a ton, but a little bit. Not a lot. None of them. <laughs> Went right That's through. a challenging game. Oh. Yeah. You have to get Forgot. that shield up, but... <sighs> okay. There you go. So yeah, if you put your shield up, it gives you time to get out of the way, or... Can you move sort the of. shield up? Let's see. I don't know. That's a good question. Yeah, you can. So I guess that's the key. Is yep, okay. Get out of the way. Oh, why does it say refuel? It looks like I have lots of fuel. It does go down really quick, though. Oh, now it's freaking out. Uh, uh. There we go. There we go. One more. Give it to me. Come on. Nope. Oh. What the hell? Oh. oh. You don't get enough fuel. <laughs> like, I don't think you can... Oh, if it doesn't say refuel, don't try to catch it. So the, the refuel is telling you that you can get fuel from that. Is oh. that what it's saying? So the refuel is not that you need to refuel. It's that what's coming down is fuel. Oh, oh try that next time. Okay. That would make a lot more sense, actually. Refuel. refuel. Yeah, you don't need fuel. That's fuel. Uh, and that is? That is. No, it isn't. No. It's That has nothing that to do with it. That doesn't seem to... What does refuel mean? <laughs> I have full fuel, and it says refuel. That... If it doesn't say refuel, don't try and catch it, but that's not true. They all say Nathan. refuel. It constantly flat says refuel. That one didn't say refuel. <laughs> yeah. If it's timed, it's not timed very well. Like when it... That one said refuel. That one said refuel. Nope. Lies. Many lies. Game over. Tanya, yes. <laughs> uh, it's a confusing game. It is a confusing. confusing. Um, it says the display will indicate catch fuel when it's safe to collect fuel. Catch I mean, fuel. I mean, it doesn't. It doesn't say catch it, fuel. They changed it. But when, when it's released, because that's not true. Because I've seen it. It says refuel. That one's fine. 
it didn't say. That one did say. That one did say, but that's a lie. <laughs> that one says it, but it's a lie. That one didn't say it, and it was... Yeah, that one said it. Yeah, but you get so little. Like, hardly anything. Like, it, yeah. you died immediately after getting that fuel. Is it because I put my shield up? When you pick it up, not when it's released. Oh. Oh, too long. I have it burned up. Stop flicking your foot. Tough. You're making me crazy. <laughs> Am I? Yes. <laughs> I think it's just better to shoot the people. Because wasting time getting that fuel. There we go. Do I start with the same amount of fuel? I'll be really pissed off. <laughs> I hope not. What is oh this? Shoot it! What am I shooting? Don't let him touch you. I want to see what this level is about. What is this level? Tell Stop. me something. I don't know. Ah! D d There's no refuel. I'm confused. <laughs> you haven't shot it once. There, there you shot once. it. There, once. Oh my goodness. Oh, now it's dropping things. Now I'm dead. <laughs> oh, it is game. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this game Refuel is... is telling you that the thing that is falling will be safe to catch. Yeah, but it's not quite... It's not quite timed properly. Oh, you're flying. You can take off again. Oh. But I have, like, almost no fuel left. Though. Boss wave, yeah. Um, oh. I love playing these games where you just have no clue. You're just like, what? what's going on? <laughs> that's that refuel the whole way down. I know it does. The first it's, one. I don't think that's... I don't think that's timing correctly, because... I think I'm just going to do I that. think you just have to... You have to test it out and see and not hold your uh, shield for too long because you will burn up if you hold your shield for too long. Does a shield use up fuel? You almost want to get... Uh, it seems to be see, dropping at the same level. They all say refuel. It gives me like half a second more of fuel when yeah. I got it. So it's just wasting my time getting it. Wasting my time. You're better off shooting as much as you can. And if we were better at shooting them, we wouldn't have to refuel. <laughs> Just putting it out there. <laughs> yes. We haven't been very successful at getting them very quickly. Oh, so close. Oh, there you go. Just in time. Yeah. Uh, Boss wave. Boss wave time. Things are dropping. I don't know if I'm supposed to get them. I don't think so. Do you have, do you have a shield? Yeah. Oh my god. Just about to die. Oh, oh, they're getting mad. Oh, now they're really dumping. 5,000 points. Oh, no, it's game over. It let you play a little bit after the game is over. Yeah. <laughs> it gets yeah. you move around. It lets you move around. You have to pick up fuel, but it gives you like. Nothing. Like literally half a second more. Like oh. it's less, it takes more of your fuel to catch the fuel than it does, than it gives you fuel. So it's, it's, it's just wasting your time. Unless there's, is there better fuel than others? It's already down, like in two seconds. That gave you nothing. Absolutely nothing. That fuel. Zero. <laughs> I think we're missing something. Yeah. Like, done. It helps a little. It, nope. Half a second. The time you wasted on it. Yeah. Was way, 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 way more. Like, yeah. Like two or three times as much time you wasted trying to get it than it gave you. Unless you get every single one. No, not even. If you got every single one of them, you would run out of fuel. I don't know. Ugh. Oh, there we go. You're wasting too much time not shooting things. <laughs> yeah, no, I agree well, with true. that. I think 
No, you can't do that rapid fire. I you know, I want to. <laughs> I know. Ugh. Follow them. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Follow, follow, follow. Is there any fuel on this level? Yes. Is there? No, I don't think no. there's fuel on this level. Well, how can you even complete this? It's so fast. We were just doing a shitty job of shooting things. <laughs> I, I honestly think that's... Oh, it's over. Yeah. <laughs> Are we just terrible at this game? Yeah, or what? we just, just shoot. Don't even think about the fuel. Just shoot things as quickly as you humanly can. Cause, uh, and then you can try getting the fuel when you get really low, but I think the key is shooting. And it, it, it reverts back and forth with which ones have the shields. Yeah. yeah there we go. Good. This is much better. Just the best, just ignore the fuel entirely. Best job ever of yeah. <laughs> level one. Just ignore it Half entirely. Half the fuel left. See, you don't need to get the fuel. Nah. Just wasting well, your time. Well, maybe on upper levels you can't, but... No, you're there. doing much better. Yeah. Their movement changes. I love these these colorful um, Crazy looking. Dudes, oh, there though. we go. We only need to shoot them like... I try. Can you still shoot? No. no it, I got them. All right. What's happening now? Oh, you have to oh, land back again. Back on the pad. Back on the pad. Oh! 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 There you go. I'm gonna die though. Are you? I have no fuel left. Yeah. yeah so we are. We were just useless at the game. Yeah. <laughs> oh, three of them. Oh my god. Yeah. Good like luck Like two for that. seconds of fuel left. Let's see if I can get as many as I can. Twice as many people. I got I got an extra life. That's how you get through all this. It expects you to die a lot. Ooh. Oh, they're stopped. Oh, now they're moving. Yeah, thanks. Did, have you played this with someone else before? Never played this game oh, okay. before. I'm having a flashback of watching there's, the game. There's lots of space shooters. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Try the fuel. Oh, no. No, it's a waste of time. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, no, almost. Yeah, I still got another life. Thank you, Captain Classic, Yay! for subscribing. Oh, let's get move. Come on. <gasps> oh, almost had him. You gotta get him when you gotta be stopped. careful that you don't reshoot before it reaches him. <sighs> yeah. Okay, second boss. Yeah. Wave. I want to. I want to rapid fire, which is just my instinct. Oh, he's at biggin. Oh, just the just the time. These are really pretty, though. I do love the multicolor. Nathan Strum did the graphics. Very good, Nathan Strum. It looks really good. Come on, one more. Oh my God, get over here. Oh, I have one life left, though. If I can shoot them, I'll get an extra life. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's split. There we go. Harrowing game. <laughs> James, you sound outraged at the gameplay. No, it's just taking <laughs> some time to, to oh, figure out the tactic. Oh my god, he stops and moves. There we go. Yeah, it, 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 just, it just took just a take, little take, took a bit adjusting. Of adjusting. It's yeah. a very different game. Yeah, it's cool though. I oh like how god. it looks. Oh, look at all these dudes. I'm gonna die. I mean, it's, it ramps uh, up, but once you figure out really... Target-rich environment, yeah. that's for sure, for now. Definitely more about the shooting than getting the fuel. Yeah, I don't understand the point of the fuel. Well, no, it's time. not that I don't, but you would have to... I still think your focus has to be on shooting rather than the fuel collection. If if, if it's convenient, then pick up the fuel, but... It's never convenient. It's never convenient, yeah. Because <laughs> you're trying to avoid them for the most part. It'd be nice if they were all fuel. Yeah, I'm dead. I have one more life. One more life, I think. Yeah. Yep. Three left. So if you're pretty good, you can kind of limp by by just making it through the the, oh, yeah. the waves by like dying, like well, planning your dying once. But you could oh be collecting God. the fuel for Stop a lot it. of these if you use your your shield. He's coming back here again. <gasps> Get it? Oh, see. He's gonna come right back here. Oh, Did I die? double death, yeah. Oh, oh I... wow, that was lucky. That's very huge. Makes it easier. So are their bullets. Oh, that's good. Yeah, but when they get close to you. Uh -huh. I 
don't see the challenge there. Oh, no, I'm gonna die. No! Come Go! Uh, close. Close. Hello all, so excited to watch. Haven't seen Zero Page Homebrew in a yeah, show in a while. Yes, Jared Cray West. You haven't seen you in a... Oh. Nope, the programmer created the graphics, Nathan Strunz. Oh. I only worked on the label artwork manual. Oh, okay. I do like, I do like the graphics. They're really nice. Oh. Yeah. So I think I played a pretty good game. I think I made it through three waves. Three waves? Four waves? So we actually got somewhere this time. Thank goodness. I think the options... What did the options change again? Do they make it just harder? Because I don't want it harder. Um, option one is standard play. Option two is steerable missiles. Yes. I will play option two. Because I do like the steerable missiles in Mega Mania. Um, it makes me very happy. So let's try steerable missiles. Oh, yeah. This is much better. I mean, this is easy mode, obviously. Easy mode. Easy mode. This should be mode one. <laughs> easy mode. Uh, stay near where their shots are hitting, then dive over and catch if your ship turns green. If your ship turns green? Yeah, this is easy mode. Oh, your ship turns green. Oh. Interesting. Okay. I didn't know that... Hi. Oh my god. Oh. Why did the Why does the bullet seem to be getting in my way now? Bastard. Get over here. Did you get less fuel on this option? Oh my god, I think you get less fuel on this option, which evens it out a bit. Or a lot less fuel, but it goes down quicker. Why is my having so much trouble getting this last dude? Get over here. There we go. I think the ship color indicator is much easier to um, tell for whether it's fuel or not. Much easier boss level with steerable bullets. Are the red-green intervals random? They they seem to have a pattern. Ah, ah, they switch based if a shot is lethal or will become fuel. the lowest guys shoot bullets. So, what happened? Oh, fuel? Didn't hear it beeping. Um, there we go. So, I'm just going to get rid of the lowest guys first, because they're causing the most trouble. Or try to, anyway. I think in this game, this variation of the game, your fuel is much lower. It's very annoying that they're going... Oof. thought I died from the bullet, but it was actually real fuel. And game over. Approximately two seconds. Okay, so let's move on to the last game that we have for today, which is... More coffee! Yeah. Chuckheads! Yep. 
Uh, Chuck adds 2020 by Glenn Main. This first posted April 8th, 2020. This build from April 8th, 2020. It's another 4K game like all the games today. Uh, other games, Chuck Heads and Goon Knights, which we did play on the show. You can download this one in the Atari Age forum. Let's load up the game. Atari this is Plus. a two-player game. Ready. So we're going to break out the other controller and unplug the Atari box. Sorry, Atari box. And it also, it also, also a one-player game, so I will start off reading the instructions first. Space battle is very, very challenging. Um, a Chuckhead's a game for one or two player. One player, move blue chuck down or up using the joystick. Use the trigger to select a head when holding the ball. Each head defines a different kind of chuck. Cool Chuck chucks a googly. Crazy Chuck chucks a jiggler. Cheeky Chuck chucks a flapper. Does not give pictures of what each of these guys' names are. So you have to figure out which is Cool Chuck and which is uh, Crazy Chuck and which is Cheeky Chuck. So, I'm blue here. So what do you think? That looks crazy. He's got crazy eyes. You can't switch while you don't have the ball. Uh, so, I think that's Cool Chuck with the hair, and that's Cheeky Chuck with the robot face. Pretty sure Crazy Chuck is the one with the eyes. Anyway, ball releases when a timer, uh, color timer alerts green. There's a horizontal band located immediately below the play field. Uh, now it's kind of orangey brown. Oh, the colors are very different. Um. Uh, timer rotates through a sequence of ambers to reds before each chuck event. If holding the ball, the player aims at the blue zone, it's on the right hand side, eight vertically aligned blocks on the right hand side of the screen, striking anywhere within, including gaps, rewards a point. The computer plays red chuck and only needs for the ball to reach the left side of the screen to be awarded two points. Either red or either blue or red chuck can catch the ball, preventing point addition for the opposing head. Every three points for blue chuck moves him closer to red chuck. A metallic guard behind delimits the play field ever so for blue. The guard's reflections of red chuck help discover where to sit for a potential catch. Guard's reflections. Oh, okay, so you can see behind me where the ball is going to go because he stops when he throws the ball. Uh, the first player to 25 points is a winner. Reset to toggle a new game. Two players. Addition to above rules, you may co-op Red Chuck using a second joystick. The computer controls movement and head selection. Player opts to trigger. Oh, so it's not really two player. It's more like the second player is determining when the ball's thrown. So you can't move them. And you can't choose which type of throw it is. So... We will oh, uh, reset, and I will play a game. So I'm on the left side side. I'm a blue. I'm going to go Crazy Chuck, I think, and it goes quite wobbly. Crazy Chuck chucks a jiggler. So is that a jiggler? Yeah. And so this is Cheeky Chuck. It's a <laughs> flapper. Let's see. Oh, it's a little different. Is that flapping? Yeah. It's I don't good. know. Let's try the third guy. And is this Cool Chuck? Cool Chuck? He looks pretty cool. A, he chucks a googly. A googly. I don't know. I know they I look, they know. are different. They are different. The width of them. He doesn't he doesn't define which guy is which uh, in the uh, in the instructions. It probably doesn't really matter. Some is more narrow, some is more up and down. Yeah. Wider. So it's pretty much the width of the... Oh, that one's hard. So this this guy is the widest? Yeah. Yeah. One with this spiky hair. That was easy. And that one is the narrowest? Yeah. Oh, it it doesn't move as quickly either. No. 
doesn't. Cool truck needs sunglasses. Yeah, it doesn't yeah, that vacillate would be... quite as. And he kind of moves randomly. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't get the point because I have to get it. Oh, within that within that range. that range. Yeah. He gets more points. And has a bigger range to throw it in. There, I got it. And I get one point. He gets two points if he scores. So the computer has advantages and disadvantages. Mm. The disadvantage for him is he has really poor AI. <laughs> he doesn't know how to catch a ball very well. <laughs> The advantage is for him, he has a much bigger goal to shoot for. Like, I'll just stay there and like... All right. Yeah, but you don't get points. That's you have to hit true. the blue. You I have to hit it in the middle. I'm still winning. Yeah. Is, this, is this a single player game? It's or can you play both, both sides? It's a wish player game. Yeah. Oh, oh, you're getting closer to him now. Yep. If he catches it, I, I move closer to him. Oh. Um, Neat. So you, if you are the second player, you control the red guy, mm. but you only control when he releases it, which is fine. Mm. You don't control what type of throw it is, though. Mm. Let's try this dude. Eight? Is it to ten points, did I say, or twenty? Or fifteen? I forget. Uh... Da -da -da. Did he catch it? Hmm. Or did, did he? you get a point? I looked away. Mm. Oh, I got a point. Nine points now. Mm. It, he doesn't go for the ball whatsoever. He just randomly moves. Do you think? Doesn't go for it? Like, I'll stay in the center here. He doesn't seem to stop. His movement And when changes. I throw it, he doesn't seem to yeah. change. Is so it just one level of him, or it's yeah. just the, yeah, okay. Yeah, it's yeah. only one or two player options. So I'm, is there a point in even trying to aim away? What do you mean? Like trying to deceive, like throw where he's not? But he he does have he's some abstract moving. movement. Like he goes up and down, he bounces up and down. He also goes to the halfway point and back. Yeah. Like but he, he does that. He didn't goes, seem to change when I throw it. He just no, kept moving in the same... he's just moving in whatever pattern he's... he's um, Yeah, he doesn't really have AI. He just moves in random patterns is what oh, it looks like. Oh, he did change directions there. Yeah. Maybe there is. Interesting. Well, it's definitely not to 10, because I'm at 13. So it must be to 15. Nice. One more, maybe. I love the numbers. The colors on oh, the numbers gorgeous. that look like shiny gold. Really nice. Yep. Yeah. I really like that. 15? Oh, what happened? oh, no, he caught it. He did? But he's not getting points? Oh. oh, as I get points, I get closer? I can't remember what it said. Oh, I don't know. No, I thought if no. it, it got past you. No, no I'm all you're liney. at 16. Or maybe. I I'll reread it. When, uh... Yeah. Oh. Or I can reread it. Oh, he gets points. If it gets past you, so yeah, you must get closer as your points go up. It gets harder. That's how the that's how it ramps up. Mm, well, definitely uh, does get harder. Oh, much harder. Seven it must be oh, the twenty. So two player, you control just the release of oh, the. Oh god, it's so close. Of the ball, but you don't control the movement of the red chuck. Oh my god. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, it's actually easier. Uh, not really easier for me because I don't know when I'm gonna throw. It kind of indicates when you're gonna throw, but it doesn't. Green. Oh, yeah, but when it, it goes green. Yeah. Change. Yeah. I see him throw. No, I see it. But you choose the throw. Oh my god. Choose the type of throw. Yeah. yeah. Not when, but when you're playing second player, you do choose when, which is really big deal. One more so point. The red chuck, they get two points if it reaches your side of the screen. Oh, good. Every three points for blue chuck moves them closer to red chuck. Three points. A okay. red metallic guard oh, behind delimit, del delimits the play field ever so for blue. I don't know what that is. 
What did it say again at the beginning of that sentence? Uh, a red metallic guard behind yes. delimits the play field ever so for blue. Yeah, because it moves it closer. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. That's what it means by that. The guard's reflections of red check help discover where to sit for a potential catch. Mm. It's really hard this close. How many points? The first player to 25 points oh, is okay. a winner. Oh, my God. Three it's a more. lot. Oh. It gets, and this he gets is when two. he catches up. This is, this is where, because he gets two for each one that gets yeah. passed. So this is, that's how they, oh, you need two more. So it's very hard for him at the beginning, but much easier at the, at the end for him. Yeah, which is, but keeps it balanced and makes it harder as you go. Nice. One more. Jesus. You just Look need one more, though. You just have to make sure he doesn't get it. There we go. <gasps> yeah! Good job! Oh, my God. Nightmare. Nightmare? Okay, which, which... I thought you did pretty well. <laughs> it's hard. Which one do you want to play? Um... Red or blue? Well, you play this. I'll play I can... red because... Oh. oh. Yeah, I'll play red. You've okay. been playing playing blue pretty well, and I don't want to start from scratch and do okay. terrible. So the red, all you control is release of the ball. Yep. You don't control what type of guy. So is I can't catch or movement. it. I don't. I don't control any of that. No. Now is when you. Yeah. Which, but with that distance, <laughs> it's so easy for you to get to get behind the ball. So. Yeah, so it comes into play later. And in the, the type game. of throw, I don't think I control either, do I? Nope. Do I? I don't no, know. he is. He is. He is. He's changing, changing on his own. Yeah. There's not much <laughs> to it's, do it, at it, this no, point. No, because I can't really time it. it you, you've got so much time to actually. I mean, I can't time mine at all. No. No. I. It, it just, just releases throws it. at a certain time. A winner is you. <laughs> The line moves every three times. Every three points on my side. Mm. These don't make any difference. The uh, the type of throw. Because he's random. Yeah. Um, but I can see why they di he didn't make it so that both sides act like how I'm doing it. Because it's too easy. Mm. Like you would always, ca we would always catch it. Almost always. Unless the ball was a lot faster. Yeah. Which he could have done. Like, made the ball faster. Right at you. <laughs> I could have made that easier. And then, I I would want more variation in the throws. Like, the almost straight... Like, that one's good, but I don't think it's hot quite enough. Variation? Variation. Ugh. It probably makes... Yeah. Like, I can always almost catch everything he throws yeah. at this point. It's only till it gets When you close. get closer that you can't get under it. Yeah. Oh. Uh, that one I was a bit even, wiggly. I didn't even do that. He released it. I waited too I guess long. guess there's a time limit. Yeah. Ugh. Oh, I wasn't it's looking away at the chat. Maybe these could be used as a pitch pitches for champion yeah, champ sports baseball. Kind of I uh, I kind of like. Uh, I don't think the concept of it is bad. It's kind of a neat game. Yeah, it just needs a little. You you tweaking, you're not you're not completely satisfied with it. No, I'm not. The throws need to be crazier. Mm. Even his throws need to be crazier. Like it's. Too... Or if they went like diagonally or something. Yes. Yeah, they're too easy to catch. I mean, I've missed two of them when mm. I looked away, but. But it seems to get a lot harder, closer to the. And his AI needs to be a Ooh, little bit see, you, better. You well, you were looking at the chat. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the only time I get one in is when you're slightly distracted. And an actual two-player mode would be really nice. Mm. If they were both, I don't know the same. The same, and there was harder throws, like mm. di more difficult, like yeah. really wobbly ones or something. It would be neat if both players were random, the random movement. I don't know. Eh. Oh, I didn't do that. <laughs> Waited, Waited too, long. too long. Yeah, it doesn't like you to wait too long. But actually, that's a good f 
function in there. It is. It keeps the game moving. Yeah, you can't just sit forever. I can play it and drink my coffee at the same time. <laughs> it's a one button game. Not that I'm playing well while drinking my <laughs> coffee at the same time. I think it's actually easier when you're playing. I don't well, know. Well, I'm, I'm less. Did I get that one? Don't uh, know if I got it. Yeah, I think. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, it was outside of the. Ah, nice. <sighs> yeah, it's. I mean, as the second player, I have no control over. Um, <laughs> Dodging. Oh, nope. Maybe these could be used. Yeah. That's the nice. flutter, the googly. The googly. I do like the names. <laughs> oh, <laughs> cheap. Released it right away. Yeah. Oh. It's getting hard. Yeah. It definitely is different when you're oh. in close quarters oh. to each other. Compared mm. to uh, far away. You might win. We'll I have to get four more points. Ugh. Ugh. And you get up by two each time. Yeah. I mostly score on you, but not always. Oh. Oh, I actually caught it. Oh my god. Miracle. No, you only need two more. It's too hard. <laughs> You're going to get it every time, and you only have well, three more. It Oh. oh, good job. Yeah, there, it definitely as it gets closer, then I'm, I actually have a chance of, of beating you. But like early on, yeah. it's, I, I might as well just let the AI play because <laughs> Pretty I, much. you're going to get behind the balls unless you're really not paying attention. So. Graphics are great. Yeah, I really like the look of it. The bottom of the screen has, has this 3D effect yeah. with the bars. I like it. I like the concept the of guys, it. The guys... The, the the characters look great. Mm -hmm. um, the concept is great, you know. Yeah. Um, and Trust is pretty unique. Yeah, exactly. It is unique. Yeah. yeah. Um, there was a snowball game that's that was similar, but it had it was a very different. Like you built your your snow fort and you had to protect your fort. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Played that during. Yeah, a, during I, I think I remember playing that. Christmas as a Christmas game. Yeah, yeah. Um, things like he says he's done with the game though. Mm. He's not going to change it. I like it. I, I like it. I mean... I think some things could be tweaked to make it better. But no. it is different. Yeah. I think the gameplay is a little slow as it starts. Yeah, something to change that up so it's harder when it starts. I think the... Or the, or the movement. Like if that shield got closer and then slowed, if that made sense. So you get closer oh. to the... You get closer to your enemy a little faster and then, it, then the movement yeah, gets then smaller. Yeah, smaller. Yeah. yeah would probably speed up the gameplay a little but um yeah no it's cool mm -hmm. it's cool sorry i missed the, the first you reading out how it plays and all that oh uh, yeah yeah you caught on um yeah yeah it's a proper two-player game would be nice hmm. where you both are the same but um mm. and just harder crazier pitches i think would be would be better if it or yeah if you could um or you could secretly pick the pitch i don't even care about that i yeah. think if you just had like if, if some of the pitches were like diagonal or or more random yeah rather than always straight because the wavy line i don't think it's hard to dodge it do you know what i mean of course like you don't the... want to turn this into pong right if it's too crazy it'll go off the screen or hit the corner no, and then but, it turns into pong but if it went from Diagonal up, diagonal down, or, or something, something funny like that. He calls. You could pitches. add more. You could add more to it that way. But yeah. uh, no, it, I, that's pretty cool. I like. He calls that the pitches uh, googly, jiggler, and flapper. I, like I have that. no idea which one's which. <laughs> it doesn't matter. They're just funny names. <laughs> yeah. Like flapper, jiggler, and googly. Funny. One of them's called Cool Chuck, Crazy Chuck, and Cheeky Chuck. There is absolutely no indication of what is what, so you can. Name it well, whichever guy if, you want. If the game had a, a manual with images, then he could yeah. name them. But oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you can put um, images on Atari age forms, so he just oh, didn't do he it. He just didn't yeah. put the image of it next to it. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. 
and they're all the same color so you can't designate the color yeah um it's pretty cute though yeah it's a very cute game i like it yeah i agree with the sunglasses <laughs> but uh um and he's and somebody asked b hall says do you consider this a work in progress or done if you have room or, or okay to go to 8k a title screen with simple instructions with the simplest oh my god no or at least a table with the chucks and what they chuck would yeah, be sweet that would be cool oh that would be cool like you have yeah. the three different guys in the title screen and mm -hmm. the balls they throw like yeah one throws at a time then the, the next one the next them, one yeah. the names that would be really cool that would be cute says yeah. your suggestion is solid a neat way to wrap things together is possible in 4k predictably i spent an allowance too readily on graphic effect and what passes for ai <laughs> I'm guessing i'm 12 months from doing something decent for the 2600 uh reviewing code i'm wasting cycles and bytes on mumbo jumbo logics which should be trimmed uh for the same outcome so i mm. though i say yes it's done is also another sand castle here along the journey mm. to build something of lasting value value mm. I think it has lasting value i think it does. you can just have a few more tweaks in there yep. but it's fun and it's a neat concept it is i like that yeah. yeah uh so the games we played today were kaboom deluxe mm -hmm. which is very close to being done uh very hard uh very fun kaboom is just hard in general for me it's a very hard game um but it's, it's fun, game, but it's fun to have that two player uh finally added to the 2600 version when mm. it was on the other versions uh then we had flappy bird very uh well made flappy bird mm. lots of fun a little flashy for you but yeah i, I i'm just i'm i don't i'm not like a, a i don't have um epilepsy epilepsy or seizures or anything but i get migraines Sensitive. from really flashy lights so sometimes sometimes i play a game and i'm like should i be looking at this i don't know yeah kaboom but is it hard. wasn't too bad it wasn't too bad yeah that's yeah. where it says kaboom is hard but pitch and catch variation will be fun yes mm. Uh, it's like um, pretty much the same game but it allows the other player to be involved yeah yeah and especially like if that. he slows it down a little bit that'll yeah. be a little bit more yeah. even yeah no i i like that i like that two-person play is is really fun and then you you're just flipping back and forth i like that a lot yeah, yeah. Um, really cool. space battle was a little hard to get into but once you got into it it made a lot more sense. yeah we we had a very um what's the term uh our learning curve was a little <laughs> steep on that one but yeah. i think once we figured it out it got you you started getting through the levels so. then it, yeah yeah once yeah. you once we figured it out it's it's and it looks good it looks oh, yeah. a really very nice looking, looking game slow ramp up period yeah yeah learning curve learning curve um it and happens. there was some <laughs> And second option in space battles, you could steer your shots, which is a lot easier uh, to hit them. Ah, yeah, but okay. I think he depleted the fuel faster, uh, so I didn't make it as far, even though I was shooting the guys much quicker. Yeah. Um. So he kind of made sense. it even. Yeah. So I think I'd rather go back to the other one, which I did better in. Well, once you get used to the straight shots, then you figure out You're the timing, right? Yeah. yeah. I think everything is just getting used to it. And uh, yeah. fourth game, Chuck Heads. Uh, very fun. Great graphics. Yeah, great sound. I like it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, great uh, and unique concept. Just needs a little, little bit tweaking, maybe. Yeah. Little it's cool. I like it, though. To, I liked it. To get the game balance. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like um, that. Yeah, it's very fun. Uh, so next episode which is going to be a wednesday we're going to be playing uh duck attack uh, uh an unknown game at this point mm -hmm. uh the set for the second one and we're going to be playing aardvark for the heart 2020 harmony games trying to get a high score in the first five levels mm -hmm. uh dan says good show today thank you very much a repentless vg thanks for another great show have a happy uh, bunny, bunny day. day everyone uh need to be more like arcade wind jammers Oh, yeah, Windjammers is an incredible game. That is a lot of fun. Oh. You click on it? And, it? and it's pretty much like that game, actually. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Um, you have a goal. and But Windjammers, you could throw it against the wall. Hmm. Um, you could hold down the button for, like, a super throw. Hmm. Um, actually, I'll take a quick look at that. Didn't know that... Uh, you could play, have that MAME emulator in, inside your browser. That is incredible. Inside your browser? Yeah. Where's my mouse? Did it take, oh, control my mouse? It did. 
bastard. One second. I'm just going to show this off. Uh... Wow. There we go. Nice. Go F11. <laughs> 11. No, can't go F11. What is wrong with this stupid browser? S. Ramirez likes your shirt. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I didn't yeah. even say anything about that. Um, yeah. I just got this in. We did order one before, yeah. but it was a I got small. You, was it for Christmas I got you? I can't remember. I, I bought him this shirt, but it was a little too small. So now I have a draconian shirt. And <laughs> we got a slightly larger size for him. So yes. um, we just have to coordinate so that we're not looking like twins on the show. Not that it's not a bad shirt to, uh, <laughs> for both of us to wear, but... Uh... Oh, yeah. Oh, I can't. So annoying. It takes, control, it takes control of the mouse. Does it? Yeah. Anyway, here's Neat. the demo. Neat. I'm not going to actually play it because I don't know what the controls are. Yeah. Go for broke. Um, but my friend had a Neo Geo. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, uh, when they came out. And he had this game. And I also played this game in the arcade a little bit. It is it is a lot of fun. Is it? Yeah, yeah. And it's Looks pretty like much like we played it except it has a lot more options for throwing different types of um, different types of uh, throws mm. and uh, you can like you guys should wear them together yeah we will we'll do a draconian day I don't know it yeah, would yeah, have to be we'll themed. have to play it would have to Dra be themed. we'll have yeah. to tra or play draconian we'll oh, play draconian but yeah. Yeah, these are bosconian so you can see they're, they're throwing it and you can kind of curve it as well if somebody made wind jammers for the 2600? <laughs> well, it wouldn't that, look like this, though. <laughs> it could look pretty good. It would look good. But... Because there's not much to it. It's just a court. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Plain yeah. court, two players on either side. Yeah. It's a disc. It could be square. It could be two by two. Um, They're all, it seems like a bunch of mini games. Oh, yeah, there's mini games. I never, I don't remember the mini games. I you remember, just remember only the main playing game. one against one. Oh, Neat. probably because I always play two player. Oh, yeah. That's probably why. Yeah, cool. Um, I, I've seen no reason why this couldn't be demade and scaled down to scale 2600 down. Yeah. at all. Like, yeah. so there you go. Another idea for all the people who don't yeah. need ideas. Archive.org is great. They have preserved yeah, many DOS, incredible. Atari, and other games. And MAME. Yeah, Arcade. with help from the National Library. Yeah. That's very cool. Because it's great to archive these. Yes. See, he speeds up. You get a crazy throw. It's a beautiful throw. looking game too. I mean, I love I love these this this era of arcade game and the colors yep. in them and the like, like this, the, this all the game. women in the audience like <laughs> it's, yeah. it's amazing. This game is why I would buy a Neo Geo. This is yeah this is one yeah. of my favorite games on yeah. the Neo Geo. Besides like awesome. um, oh, what's the tank game? Where your little uh, guys. Uh, Nam 1975 and the other ones. I don't know. You know them better than I. I'm not. I'm not. I am not i can not remember. Metal. Metal. Metal Gear. Something. No, it's not Metal Gear. It. You know. You guys know what, which ones yeah. I'm talking about. I'm sure. Anyway. Uh. Yeah. Somebody brought that up. So let's cool. take a look at it. How do we get out of this now? No. Exit full screen. There we go. So thank you everybody for yes. joining us. Um, we're, oh, what is happening to my computer? Oh, I've yeah. got this F11 now. Um, so some other shows coming up. We're going to be playing Starfire next Wednesday for the patch. Mm -hmm. Now that I know there is a patch, uh, that's at 3,500 points. That's another uh, Sunday morning show, unless something comes up. Um, and then we're playing Aardvark for the last day of the 2020 Harmony Games Round 2 on May 6th. And then on May 13th, we have the Champ Games Secret New Homebrew. Don't know what it is. We'll keep guessing, maybe. <laughs> um, could be done on Atari with limited graphics. An updated Pong, essentially. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a crazy movement Pong with circles and stuff. Uh... I need to buy one. Oh, they're very, very expensive. Oh, the shirt? I thought he was talking about a Neo Geo. No. <laughs> Neo Geos I think are the very shirt, expensive. You're, you're going yeah, further back up. I think yep. you're talking about the shirts. The shirts are, are good. Yeah. yeah, and this is designed by VHZC. Yes. 
a 2600 programmer yep. that makes tons of amazing games. Yeah. Champ Sports Chess. Yeah. Uh, no, he's, I don't think it's a chess game. I think uh, so, um, somebody's already got that uh, yeah. going on. Somebody, Andrew Davies, already on chess. Yeah. So you don't need another chess game. Yeah. He's got he's got hockey and he's got baseball so yeah. far coming up. Uh, who knows what else? Lacrosse. <laughs> Lacrosse. <laughs> Andrew Davy is crushing it. He is. He's got the AI going now. Um, oh, on a new chess game. Very limited AI. Unfortunately, his game doesn't work well with Javatari, so we can't play it over the internet. Oh, with like Erlen. With Erlen. Oh. So you'd have to be here, or I'd have to make the same moves as he is, and he has to play locally on an emulator. It's just going to be. Yeah. Too challenging. He could play locally on an emulator. Like at his end, and yeah. then I can make the same moves, but the AI would make different moves. No, no, moves. but couldn't he... Yeah, he couldn't he stream he could, on his end? He could point his, his camera at his screen. That's what I mean, yeah. It's a bit awkward. It would be doable, though. It's doable, but super weird yeah. and awkward. Yeah. Uh, thanks, everybody, for hanging out. Uh, Nathan Strom, the D-Train, 37, Spiceware, Captain Classic... Thrust 26. Uh, hey, Arena Foot. Arena Foot joined at the last yes, second Thunkus. just to get his name. Yeah. Thunkus, Packrat, VG, Jared Gray West, uh, John Drill, uh, Carl G, I think yeah, I already Carl said. Carl G. Uh, NY72S. Yeah, just jumped New? in. Yeah, I'm right from the New York. Yeah. Oh, living in Kansas. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. I didn't see that when they typed it. Yep. Uh, Lid likes a television. Oh, I missed that name yep. coming up. Oh, yep. there's Thunkus back there. Yeah. And everybody else. Prow Seventh. There we go. Thanks for putting your name there. Yeah. You missed it. Oh no! You can watch it. Rewind it. it. Rewind yes. it on um, uh, Twitch. Twitch or watch yeah. it tomorrow on YouTube. Yes. Um, yeah, we played four games. Lots of fun. Yes. And Yay. we'll be back on Wednesday. Wednesday yep. 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. Yeah. Sorry, European people. <laughs> you get the Sunday shows. Yes. So. <laughs> uh, That's what happens. So thanks, and we'll be back on Wednesday. Uh, good show. Have a great weekend, yes, everyone. Stay happy safe. Bunny yes. Day, stay Easter. safe as well. Have a happy long weekend. Long or weekend. Whatever long you're month. celebrating. Yep. Yeah. Chocolate. Chocolate. That's what we're celebrating. I'm gonna go yeah. have some chocolate. Everyone wash their hands. Bye, yes. spice wear. Yep. Yep. See you Wednesday. Thanks, everyone. Bye bye. bye.